You guys, I have the craziest story for you. Hey everyone, I'm so excited that you are here. I am going to show you today how I did board and batten in my bathroom, a total DIY um, with the supplies I had at my house. Um, you don't need any power tools for this one, so that's pretty freaking awesome. Supplies will be linked down below so you can see what I used and the dimensions that I used, but it will probably be different on everyone's space depending on the size and what you're going for. But just to give you kind of an idea, I'll, I'll list what I did below. So yeah, let's hop into it. Okay, so here I am just taping it out so that I can get a good visual of what I want. As a general rule of thumb, odd numbers look better, so I just decided on five here. <laughs> okay, I measured the wood, and now I have to cut it. And all we have are these. I don't know where the other safety goggles are, <laughs> so I'm wearing my husband's lab goggles. <laughs> Wish me luck. While I was in the space, I just went ahead and measured along the wall what size I wanted each of these boards. And then I marked them there on the board with pencil. And then I came out and cut them. My setup is so classy with two bar stools. Don't recommend it. It works fine, but it's probably not the safest thing ever. You definitely don't need the saw that I have here. You could totally do it with just a hand saw. I'll link a product that works really well for this. This is just simple straight cuts. So right here, I'm just going with liquid nails, covering the backside and then putting the baseboard and the top board to the wall um, and then using my nail gun to nail it in. I have an older house and so my baseboards are actually really thin. I didn't want to remove the baseboard because then it wouldn't match the rest of my house. And so I actually just put this board on top of my baseboard. That made it so that the width is the correct width for all the boards that go vertical. And this actually worked great. So if you're looking for an option with board and batten without having to remove your baseboards, this is it. The whole time I was doing this, I was going back and forth between doing it white or like a moody gray, which is really trendy, but I'm more of a white paint kind of lady myself. Everyone voted to go white. And so I actually did that to start off. All right, here it is. Painted white, finished caulking, all the things, and I don't like it in white. <laughs> so now we know. So next up, I think I'm gonna match it to this color gray to match. This project was one of my easiest DIYs, and if you're just getting started in DIY, this is a really good route to go. Okay, if you want to know the trick to deciding what color is correct, it's when your heart jumps. That's how you know. That's the only way. And my heart did not jump on the white, which is surprising because I am the queen of white. But it did for this charcoal, and I am so excited to see it with a couple more coats of paint. That's going to be so Good. 